exceptions to Mendel's laws. So before we go into the exceptions, let's review Mendel's laws. Um, he had three laws, the law of segregation, gene pairs, one set of genes from the dad and one set of genes from the mom separate into gametes during meiosis. Number two, laws of independent assortment, gene pairs segregate independently and randomly during meiosis. Number three, law of dominance. The dominant allele is expressed while the recessive allele is hidden. So exceptions to Mendel's laws. The first one is incomplete dominance. In incomplete dominance, neither allele is dominant, so there is a blending of traits when two different alleles from the same trait occur together. So colors blend together. So if you had a red flower and a white flower, and you've read those, you would have a pink flower because the red and white would blend together. So as I was saying, for incomplete dominance, if you cross a red homozygous flower with a white homozygous flower, you will get a pink flower, which is a hybrid, which in the Punnett square you'd have a dominant allele for red and a dominant allele for white. And then for codominance, which is another exception to Mendel's laws, both alleles contribute to the phenotype of an organism by showing up simultane simultaneously in heterozygous individuals at the same time. So in cattle and horses, if you cross a pure red horse with a pure white horse, you will get a horse which will have a roan color. So codominance, another example is in Andalusian chickens, also show this pattern of inheritance. If you cross a black chicken with a white chicken, you get a black and white speckled chicken. So both colors are being shown at the same time. So another example of an exception to Mendel's laws is multiple alleles. In this pattern of inheritance, the genes have more than two alleles controlling them and therefore said to have multiple alleles. No individual has more than two alleles, but there are more than two possible alleles in a population. So a trait will be expressed in more than two forms. An example of multiple alleles is blood types in humans. Um, the four different blood groups, A, B, O, and A, B, are produced by three different alleles, A, B, and O. So how this happens for multiple alleles and blood types, so if you look at this Punnett square, if one person has A, B, and another person has A, O, the their children could have either AA, AB, AO, or BO, which is different than your normal Punnett square, where you only have, um, which is different than your normal Punnett square, where you would only have two alleles. You'd either have only A and B or A and O. You wouldn't have A, B, and O as a possibility. So another example is polygenic traits. Polygenic traits, which means having many genes in humans, eye color, skin color, and hair color are just a few of the many con traits controlled by many genes. So polygenic traits. Traits controlled by two or more genes show a wide range of phenotypes. So your eye color is actually controlled by more than just two genes. Um, that's why there's such a wide range of colors in a human eye. For example, in this eye right here, you have more of greenish on the outside and it turns browner towards the pupil because it's controlled by more than one, two genes. Excuse me, more than two genes. The phenotype is produced by the interaction of more than one pair of genes. Phenotrophy. 
occurs when a single gene affects more than one trait. Sickle cell disease is an example of pleiotropy. So here's a picture of sickle cell. You have regular blood cells right here and then sickle cells long, thinner cell. And uh, sickle cell can cause people to have brain damage, spleen damage, and heart damage. And it's a single gene that affects more than one of the person's traits. So if a person has sickle cell anemia, besides um, their cell being skitty and flattish, they would also have swollen hands, they would have large spleen and liver, and they would have bone pain. And so that one single gene that is causing the sickle cell is causing more damage to the person than just having the skinny cell. The skinny cell is causing these other issues for the person. Those are the exceptions to Mendel's laws.